was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. We welcome you to the St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ. It's December 31st. We're on the cusp of 2023. God has kept us all year long. He's kept us. He's protected us. Oh, glory. I'm happy to be here tonight. He's kept us all year long. Somebody ought to be happy right now. God has kept us. He's kept us all year long. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Are you glad to be here tonight? Amen. We welcome you on the behalf of our pastor, the Elder Bruce Elliott Hughes Sr. We just welcome you. We come to have a good time tonight, December 31st, and it's, we're, it's almost there, 2023. We'll have an opening selection by the Cathedral Choir and then the prayer by the Elder Debra Davis. Father, we come to you tonight, O oh Father God. Thank you for all things, O oh Father God, that come of thee. How you have kept us from January 1st, O oh Father God, to December 31st of 2022. Before we ask of anything on tonight, O oh Father God, we ask that you forgive us of all our transgressions. Forgive us of all our sins, our iniquities, O oh Father God. All manner of evilness, O oh Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we just want to tell you thank you. Thank you, oh Father God, for the rising of the sun this morning and the going down of the same, oh Father. How you covered us, oh Father God, in our going, oh Father God. We just want to tell you thank you. And, oh Father God, as we prepare to go into the new year, we ask now, oh Father God, that you remove all malice, remove all manner of evil, remove all manner of jealousy, Remove all manner of envy, O oh Father God. 
Remove it from the mind, oh Father God. Remove it from the households, oh Father God. Remove it from the churches, oh Father God. Remove everything that's not of you, oh Father God. In the name of Jesus, touch every heart this morning. Touch every heart, oh Father God, this evening. Touch it now, oh Father God, in the name of Jesus. Let your presence fill the room, oh Father God. Let your presence fill the room, oh Father God. Oh Father God, do a new thing in us. Do a new thing in us, oh Father God, in the name of Jesus. Oh Father God, as we prepare to go into 2023, as we prepare to do it, oh Father God, we honor you on tonight, oh Father God. We can't go into 2023 without you, oh Father God. We can't go without your love. We can't go without your wisdom. We can't go without you at all. But on tonight, oh Father God, as we sing praises unto you, as your word come forth on tonight, touch every heart, oh Father God. Touch every individual that's here on tonight. Touch those who are viewing us live stream, oh Father God. Touch those who desire to be here, oh Father God. Touch those, oh Father God, who are lying on their bed of affliction. Oh Father God, reach out and touch them. Reach out and touch them. Reach out and touch them. Reach out and touch them, oh Father God. Reach out and touch them. In the name of Jesus. Oh Father God, touch your manservant on tonight. Bring a word forth on tonight, oh Father God. Oh, Father God, that it will help us as we grow spiritually, oh, Father God. And it will help us, oh, Father God, to know how to walk, oh, Father God, after the own matter, oh, Father God. Have us, oh, Father God. Help us on tonight. 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 Help us on tonight that we will leave everything of 2022. We will leave it at the altar. We will leave the pain. We will leave the hurt. We will leave the disappointment. We will leave the discouragement. We will leave it here at the altar in, the, in 2022. Just as you went with Joshua, do a new thing in us. Do a new thing in us. Do a new thing in St. Stephen's. Do a new thing, God. And we will give your name the glory. This is our prayer, oh Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. And amen. Testament scripture by the elder Joaquin Ortiz and the New Testament scripture by the elder Roderick Rose. I'll be coming from Isaiah chapter 43 verses 18 to 19 NIV version. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. I've read Isaiah 43, 18 through 19. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word.
St. John, the fourth chapter, beginning at verse 22. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Verse 24, God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The word of the Lord is truth to our soul. But I saw two of my children graduate, and then they came back home for the holidays. I'm feeling good right about now. I don't know what he did for you, but I know what he did for me. I'm happy in 2022, but I'm looking for bigger and better in 2023. If he was so good in 2022, I'm just thinking about what he could do in 2023. I serve a big God. I serve a mighty God. I serve a holy God. Hey! See, I don't know about y'all, but I'm just happy. Thank God. Hell, oh, thank you, Jesus. Hold on. Oh, give him a hand for Elder Welton. Oaks. Thank you, Lord, for strengthening his body. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. My, 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 my. We serve a big God. We serve a big God. We serve a good God. I feel real good right now. Hey! Hey! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not going into 2023 sad. I'm not going down. I'm taking the Lord all the way into the new year. I'm praising him. Because he kept me. He kept me. Did he keep you? Did he keep you? Did he touch your body? Did he heal you? Did he heal you? Did he heal you? Did he heal you? Thank you, Jesus. You ought to be happy right now. Oh, my. Somebody ought to praise him right now. Somebody ought to praise him right now. Somebody ought to tell him thank you. You ought to tell him thank you. Don't go into the new year with the same baggage. Don't go into the new year down. Don't go into the new year with me. You tell him thank you. You tell him thank you. You tell him thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We got to move on. Thank you. Thank you. He's done too much for me. He's done too much for me. I don't know what he did for you. I'm talking about me. I'm going into 2023. I'm talking about me. What has he done for you? You want to tell him thank you? You want to tell him thank you? My, my, my. All right. All right. We're going to get a selection from the choir, but you want to tell him thank you? I'm going to my seat thanking him. How many on the battlefield tonight? Come on, come on. We come to have some church. I don't know about you, but I, I anticipate crossing over. Come on, clap your hands for Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm a soldier on the battlefield and I'm fighting. Hey. 
I promise him that I serve until I die. Only a fighter, yes, I am. On the Christian journey, I had heartache and pain, sunshine and rain, but I'm fighting. Yeah, I've been up, I've been down, both level to the ground, but I'm fighting. Hey, but if I hold out, hold out, hold out, hold out, cause I know. Hey, I'm a soldier on the battlefield and I'm fighting. Hey, I promise him that I serve him till I die. No, I'm fighting, yes, I am. Christian journey, I had heartache and pain, sunshine and rain, but I'm fighting. Yeah, I've been up, I've been down, level to the ground, but I'm fighting. Yeah, but if I hold out, hold out, hold out, hold out, help me say, hold out. Through the storm and rain, I got to hold out every day. Hold out, 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 hold out. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Cause I know. Come on, clap those hands for Jesus. If you're on the battlefield, working for the Lord, let me hear you make some noise. Come on. You know I'm on. Woo! You know I'm on. You know I'm on. Yes, I'm on. On the battlefield. Yes, I am. Hey, hey. you know I'm on. Hey, hey, hey. yes, I am. Yeah, yes, I am. Yeah, yes, I am. You know I'm on. I promise him that I serve him till I die. I promise him that I serve him till I die. Promise him that I serve him till I die. Cause I know. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For another year, thank you, Jesus. You brought us this far. Thank you, Jesus. Up and down, you brought us this far. Storm and rain, thank you, Jesus. Heartache and pain, thank you, Jesus. Every day, every day, every day, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Gina! 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 You might as well. We come to have some church. Woo! Woo! How? Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. If I hold out, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. We'll now have the affirmation of faith by missionary Pamela Mitchell, followed by greetings from our first lady, Lady Vicki Hughes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please stand for the affirmation of faith. It can be found in your hymn book on page 607 in the, in the back. And we're going to read together. We believe the Bible to be the inspired and only infallible word of God. We believe that there is one God eternally existent in three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We believe in the blessed hope, which is the rapture of the church of God, which is in Christ at his return. We believe that the only means of being cleansed from sin is through repentance, faith in the precious blood of Jesus Christ, and being baptized in water. We believe that regeneration by the Holy Ghost is absolutely essential for personal salvation. We believe that the redemptive work of Christ on the cross provides healing for the human body and answer in believing in prayer. We believe that the baptism in the Holy Ghost, according to Acts 2 and 4, is given to believers who ask for it. We believe in the sanctifying power of the Holy Spirit, by whose indwelling the Christian is enabled to live a holy and separated life in this present world. Amen. Praise God. Good evening, everyone. As I was sitting over there thinking about 2022 is coming to an end, and then I started thinking back and reflecting how God had brought us through. I mean, not just me, but I'm sure he brought you through. And then I started thinking about how he blessed us, how he kept our minds. And I just thank God for it. Then I started thinking about how he healed our bodies in 2022. Then I started thinking about how he blessed us. And it was and it was beyond what we asked him for. He blessed him more than what we could ever imagine or think about. And so I'm asking you, let's go into 2023 praising God because what he did in 2022, he can go beyond that in 2023. Amen. We thank our first lady for those greetings. We'll now have a selection by the Cathedral Choir.
asking our praise and worship team to come and lead us in praise and worship. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on, it's praise and worship time. Hallelujah. We came to lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We came up to lift up the name of who? Hallelujah. Oh. Come on, let's clap our hands in this place today. Hallelujah. Oh. And I will lift up your name.
know you love me. Hey. Lord, when you tell me I'm in, I know you love me. I'm in love with Jesus. He's in love with me. Help me say that no music said. I'm in love with Jesus. He's in love. He's in love with me. I'm in love. you up and I magnify your name that's why my heart is filled with praise that's why I praise you I lift you up and I magnify your name to worship God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise him. Praise him. Magnify his name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tell him praise him. Keep praising him. Keep that going. Keep praising him. Keep thanking the Lord. There's a sweet spirit in the room. There's a sweet spirit in the room. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Do you love him on tonight? Do you love him on tonight? Has he done anything for you? Has it blessed you? I am constrained yes, Lord. by this great God yes, for, for yes, Lord. to work shall be. Yeah. Hallelujah, I am Lord to love you. Come on, come on. We're still in praise and worship. Hey, 
January 1 to December 31. Forever. It wasn't because you dotted every I and crossed every T, but it was His grace and mercy. Forever. Come on, inconvenience yourself and wave your hand. Hey, forever. Last time. Forever. trying to hold myself together. God has been good to me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We will now have the offering by the elder Everett Davis. It's all right to praise him. It's all right to praise him. You don't have to wait till tomorrow to praise him. You can praise him right now. You can give God glory right now. You can testify right now of God's goodness, God's grace, God's mercy. You don't have to wait. You can give him the glory right now. He's a right now God. He's a right now God. Whatever you need, ask him right now. Don't wait till tomorrow. Ask him right now. Lord, it's me again. Lord, it's me again. Lord, it's me again. Lord, it's me again. I can't contain myself. You've been too good to me. And all I want to tell you, thank you. Are there any thank yous in the house? Are there any thank yous in the house? Are there any thank you in the house? Are there any thank you in the house? Has he done anything for you? Give God glory! Give Him some glory! Yes, Lord. 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 I had pain in my body, but it's gone now. Yes, Lord. I had death in the family, but Lord, you kept me. And want to tell you, thank you. We want to tell you thank you. We want to tell you thank you. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. We thank God for the sweet spirit because he know what we're about to do. I, st I stand before you as a witness of the Spirit. 
I stand before you to, hey, Lord, have your way. Have your way, Lord. 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 Lord. We looking for new things to happen. New revelations. New minds. New attitudes. New spirit, Lord. We ask you to do a new thing in us. Hey! your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Somebody need to catch hold of that. Somebody need to catch hold. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way now. New blessings on the horizon. New blessings on the horizon. The devil is defeated. The devil is defeated. The devil is defeated. Yes, Lord. 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 We, we bear witness. 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 Heavenly Father, we bear witness to do a new thing. We don't know why, but oh, Father God, we believe in you. But we know who. We may not know why, but we know who. When we bear witness on tonight, we bear witness. Have your way, God. 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 Have your way. Have your way, God. Have your way on tonight. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way, God. Have your way. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way, God. Have your way now. Let a sweet spirit. Let a sweet spirit, Lord, fall on us tonight. Sweet spirit, God. Let it fall on us tonight. Sweet spirit. Sweet spirit. Sweet spirit. Let your spirit fall. Yes, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way, have your way, God. In the name of Jesus, have your way, God. Do a new thing, God. Do a new thing, God. Give strength now, God. Give strength now, God. Give strength now, God. Give strength now, God. Give strength right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, oh God, give strength right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you now. 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 
Oh, God. Oh, God. We thank you now. We thank you. We thank God for the outpouring of his spirit. I stand before you tonight, and we just thank God as we prepare for our benevolence offering. We do understand that some of you all have been giving up your tithes and offering, and I just want you to follow my instructions. If you have your tithes and offering on tonight, Give your tithes and offering to the vessel that Chairman Mitchell, he's had his hand up. Give your tithes and offering. Please follow the instruction. Tithes and offering to Chairman Mitchell. Benevolence offering to Deacon Gregory. On tonight, we are giving a benevolent offering. Amen? He that lent it to the poor, lent it to the Lord. Our pastor is a man that take care of the flock. Those who are sick, those who are shut in, those who have lost a loved one. So we're asking for an increase in the benevolent offering on tonight. We don't know who will benefit from this. It may be one of you, it may be one of your family members, but we're asking that you get the best seed and sow into that benevolent offering on tonight. We have Givelify, as you can see on our monitors. We have the credit card machine here by Elder Ortiz. He's here with his hand up. We take good old cold hard cash. And if you have a check, have it dated today. Amen? So we're going to ask that you please stand. And we want you to come down to the altar with that special offering. Amen. And I want to pray over the offering. Gracious Father God, we thank you for what we have already seen and what we have heard, oh Father God. We ask right now that you continue to reign in this place. Father God, let your spirit come forth again and again and again, oh Father God. In the name of Jesus. Now bless this offering, oh Father God, that we will receive let it be used, O oh Father God, for the tearing down of Satan's stronghold and the upbuilding of your kingdom. Let it be for those, O oh Father God, that who are in need, O oh Father God, those who you will give, O oh Father God, to our pastor, that it will be used, O oh Father God, in the right manner. We thank you now, and we thank you for the givers, those who have and those who desire to give and don't have. We ask that you bless each and every one of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God and amen.
We thank God for the offering and from Sister Blanche Beavers and our tithes and offering, Elder Rose. At this time, we will have our announcements by Missionary Tanika Ortiz. Give her amen as she comes. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I stand before you to give you the announcements for St. Stephen's Church of God in Christ, located at 189 South Bird Neck Road. Amen. In the historical community of SeaTac, where the pastor is none other than Elder Bruce Elliott Hughes Sr. Amen. We thank God for tonight already. We are in watch night service. Amen. The Lord is going to keep us and we will usher us in to the new year, 2023. He's a mighty good God. Amen. We will not have a worship, morning worship service, amen, tomorrow, because we'd be mourning when we leave here tonight, amen. Um, so New Year's Day, we will not have worship service. However, we will be in our New Year's revival beginning on the 2nd of January. That's Monday, amen, through the 6th, Monday and Tuesday, the 2nd and the 3rd, we will have one hour prayer only and that will begin at 7 p.m. Monday night. We're requesting that the men department come and represent and pray, amen, on Monday night. And then on Tuesday night, we will have the women department who will be praying for us or with us, if you will, leading us in prayer on Tuesday night. And then Wednesday through Friday, amen, we have none other than evangelist Dr. Barbara Jean Oves. Amen. Who will be our revivalists. Amen. And the Lord is already working. Amen. And she will be our revivalist Wednesday through Friday. Amen. They asked me to announce that the presider for Wednesday night will be none other than Minister Paul Freeman. And Thursday night will be none other than Minister James Bird. And then we will round out on Friday night with the presider being none other than Minister Rashawn Kennedy. Amen. And the theme of the revival was pursuing perfect peace through holy living. Amen. And so we're going to prepare our hearts tonight. Amen. God is already doing it. He's working out, fixing situations for us, and he's preparing our heart. Amen. So that we can pursue perfect peace in the new year through holy living. Amen. And then I will end on the second week of January. Our speaker for the 8th is none other than Elder Donnie Gregory. Amen. And we will have our prelate visit, official visit to the district. And this is important for us because we know we come together. Amen. It will be the Virginia Beach District official visit. And that will be on the 11th, January 11th at Upper Room Church of God in Christ. And that will be at 7 p.m. On the 14th, the music department and the Passes A committee, amen, will be having an Applebee's fundraiser at 8 a.m., amen. So that is your announcements, just carrying you through the first two weeks, amen. Um, please govern yourselves accordingly and know that I love you with the love of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. We thank Missionary Ortiz for the announcements. We've now come to the part of the service where we get fed. I hope you left room on your plate for the word. And we will have our introduction, and I'm so happy that we have Elder Welton Olds. He pressed his way on, and he's here, and he'll be doing our introduction of the speaker. Following him, we'll have a sermonic selection by the choir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I tell you, it's been a glorious, glorious service thus far. And I'm so happy to be here. I know what I got to do. I'm going to introduce the speaker. I've been on my pastor practically all of his life. <laughs> He's always been, to me, a very neat 
person. He always seemed to have things in order and things together for such a young man. And I used to admire him. I, he used to ride around with his car. You never seen his car dirty. <laughs> he was riding in a Cordoba, I believe that's what. It was. Little man in a great big car. And he was riding around, and he fell in love with a young lady by the name of Vicky Spence. And he didn't really know what to say to her. But he knew one thing, he was in love with her. And finally, he got the nerve to approach her and told her he was like Samson. Gave her all, told her all his heart. <laughs> My Lord. And they got married and birthed the union. They got two sons, Tyler and BJ. I tell you, bro, uh, Pastor Hughes is a great man. I tell you, he is a man out of God's own heart. You know, he is great. I mean, for such a little man. With such a big voice. I tell you, boy, he is something to behold. Without further ado, I present to you our pastor and introduce to others my pastor, Pastor Bruce Elliott Hughes, Sr., After the choir has given one of their choices to let me. <laughs> the next voice you will hear will be our pastor. We ask that you stand all over the building and receive him. Give him your amen and thank you, Jesus. And the Lord will do the rest.
through Christ strengthens me. Lord, once again, we thank you for your love and for your kindness. God, we thank you for your tender mercy on this day. We realize on today and we live, we move and we have our beings on today. And Father, before we ask you anything, we pause to tell you thank you. As we take an image of our lives, oh God, and see where you brought us from. We just want to tell you thank you. Through all of our trials and our tribulation, God. Throughout this year, God, you blessed us and you allow us to be here, God. And we're telling you, thank you. If it had not been for your mercy and if it had not been for your grace, God, where will we be on today? We just want to tell you thank you. On our mountaintop experience and even in the valley, God, in the loss of our loved ones, we pause to tell you thank you. You are a rock, you are a sword, you are a shield, you are a horn, you are the buckler, you are the lift of our heads. Thank you. Pray that you be the invited guest on tonight, God. As we yield ourselves to you, asking you to have thine own way, God. Do a work in us, O oh God. Move by your power, God. Move by your might, O oh God. Lord, throw your weight around, God. Show yourself strong on tonight. Meet every weight in heart, God. Look upon our visitors, God. Touch them in the name of Jesus. Do it on today, God. Do it on this day, God. In the name of Jesus. Touch Eladonic Gregory, oh God. Touch Ella Welton O's, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Look upon the Johnson family, God. Look upon the Moore family, God. In the name of Jesus. You are able, God, to heal, to deliver, God, to set us free, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Pray that you will let the words of my mouth and God, the meditations of my heart. Lord God, let them be acceptable and pleasing in your eyesight. God, these are the blessings we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen and amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Certainly we honor God on today who is ahead of my life on today. Amen. To our presider. Amen. The minister, Rashawn Kennedy. To the elder, Welton. McKinley O's, thank God for your kind words doing our introduction on today. Amen. Been knowing him, amen, for quite some time. He's a great man of honor, man of integrity, a man that truly loves God and love him with all of his heart on today. And we're praying for my brother, Deacon Ronald Hughes. Amen. I sent a text message with him. He lost his wife, amen, a few weeks ago. He said it's difficult. I let him know that the saints are praying for him, that God will comfort him, and that God will strengthen him. We're also praying for Mike in Missouri, amen, who are watching us, amen, along with Mother Caldwell and all of the saints, amen, the elder Donnie Gregory, amen, talk to him on the day. We're yet praying for him, and he was in tears, amen, his heart, he desired to be here, amen, had a couple assignments to do on tonight, but elder Gregory, we're praying for you, amen, we love you for your leadership. Amen. For your dedication to the ministry here at the St. Stephen Church of God in Christ. Amen. And we do honor our jurisdiction and prayer that the Bishop Mark Anthony Thomas, pastor of the New Community Temple Church of God in Christ. And acknowledge him because on yesterday, amen, I was in my truck. I was about to run an errand. Of course, you know, Bishop Mark and Lady Kim, they are people of great hospitality. So uh, he's a chef. Amen. We were there a few weeks ago. Amen. For the candlelight service. And he stewed up some mean chili. And I compliment on that. So as I was going out on yesterday, I pray that I'm honored that the Bishop Mark Anthony Thomas Sr. drove to my house. Amen. Gave me a bowl of chili. 
Amen. So after this consecration, amen, I will be chewing, amen, on the chili for my prelate, amen, the Bishop Martha Anthony Thomas. We honor all of the clergy, Ella Rose, Ella Wilson, Ella Davis, Ella Freeman, amen, Minister Kennedy, amen, all we don't know to call Ella Ortiz, amen, we thank God for you, you and you on today, and we honor, amen, my wife, Lady Hughes, we thank God for her. Ella O said it right. Amen. Amen. Brittany, sing a song. I'm in love with Jesus. Amen. But I'm in love with Vicky. Amen. We thank God for her. Amen. This calling to the ministry is serious. Amen. It's when you say yes to the Lord. It's, we spend a lot of time doing prayer and fasting and consecrating ourselves. And as the, uh, the brethren would tell you, amen. I'm here often. Amen. I've been on vacation, but the 90% of the time, amen, I've been here because I love being in the Lord's house praying and trying to restore, amen, to beautify the house of the Lord. And she had patience. Just let her know, amen, if I'm not at home, amen, I'm at church. So we thank God for her on today. And finally, amen, we thank God for, amen, Superintendent Williams singing that dynamic song. And we're going to move forward for amen, but... She knocked on my door with a special delivery, amen, from Elder, amen, Henderson ben Benjamin, amen, and his, uh, the committee members, we have a Bruce E. Hughes C-Tech uh, scholarship, and the team wrote a check, and they presented me $3,000 on today, amen, I desire, amen, to be a blessing to the people in the C-Tech community. Amen. And they have made our dream to become a reality. So thank you, Henderson, Pierre, amen, and all of the team members, amen, Davis, Kennedy, Missionary Rose, Jordan, Barbara, Jean, Oves, amen, and so many of them working together for the call to be a blessing to the people here in SeaTac. Finally, thank God for Michaela. Stand, Michaela. Stay, Michaela. Yes, we're glad to see her. Amen. She's home for vacation. Amen. She's in the Coast Guard Academy. Amen. We love her. We thank God for you. And we continue to pray for you daily that God will bless you. Amen. And to all of our visitors, thank you. I want to read a few passages of scripture. Amen. As Missionary Ortiz did an outstanding job with our calendar. Amen. Giving the minutes out for us. Amen. We will not have morning worship service. Amen. We're going to shout over. Amen. And pray over. Amen to 2023. And we just want to read a few passages of scripture. And Ella Gregory, amen, had prepared, amen, some blessed oil for us. And we want to present that to first of all of our visitors first, catch it, amen, and all of the adults, amen. And what's remaining, amen, we'll give to all of the members here at St. Stephen's and Ella Gregory. He's home, amen. If you didn't get anyone, he got a stash home, amen. So you're going to get your oil, amen, on this week. For night watch services, night watch service is service in the historical black communities. We celebrate, trace back to January the 31st, 1862, known as Freedom's Eve. And on that night, black folks come together to praise and worship God in their private homes across the nations, anxiously waiting for the new Emancipation Proclamation, actually to become a law. And then at the stroke of midnight, January the 1st, 1863, all the slaves from the Confederate States were declared legally free. When the news was received, there were prayers, shouts, songs of joy as people fell on their knees and began to thank God that I am free. Black folks gathered together in churches annually on New Year's Eve service, praising God for bringing them safely through another year. So that's why we're here today, to give God praise for allowing us to be here on today. The 13th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States was ratified on the date 1865. It reads, neither slavery nor involuntary servitudes, servitudes shall exist in the United States of America. We have to give God praise for that. 
We praise the Lord for our freedom, for we have liberty to go wherever we like to go, when we want to go, how we want to travel. We're no longer bound to slavery. Some people try to hide the truth of black history by calling it critical race theory. But it's the reason behind the why. Such there's a large economic gap among races. Some people gain wealth from the labor of the backs of the slaves from the Jim Crow laws. Excuse me, James Brown says, say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. We celebrate Freedom's Eve on tonight. Allow me to read a free passage of scripture from Psalms 31, verses 1 through 5, verses 10 through 11 time. Would not permit me to go through this entire message, so I'll be speed reading. Psalms 31, verses 1 through 5, including verses 11 and 10. Thank God for evangelist Patricia Oles. Thank God for you. We're praying for you tonight. Amanda. We're praying for you. I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and has made my foes to rejoice, has not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cry unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive. That I should not go down to the pit. Yeah. Verse 4, sing unto the Lord, all ye saints, yeah. for his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Verse 5, for his anger endureth but for a moment, yeah. for his favor is for life. Yeah. Weeping yeah. may endure for a night, yeah. but joy yeah. cometh in the morning. Verse 11, thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. To the end of my glory may sing praises to thee. And be not silent, O Lord, my God. I will give thanks unto thee forever. And may God add a blessing to the readers and hearers and do of this word. And this book will keep you from sin. Sin will keep you from reading in this book. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank God for Crystal. Amen. My friend Crystal. Amen. We've been been knowing her since middle school, Lynn Haven Middle School. And she's always been a sweet person, a great friend. Amen. With the Johnson. Amen. And with the Gregory family. We thank God for you. And all of those that are here. We bring you greetings from the St. Stephen Church of God in Christ. We're located 189. South Brennan Road in the beautiful city of Virginia Beach, Virginia. Located at the intersections of Burnett Road and the street called Beautiful. Beautiful street. We're on the verge of crossing over the year of 2023. We have faced many challenges in the year of 2022. But the Lord has been with us every step of the way. Through all of our heartaches, our sorrows, our physical challenges, and our victories, God has been faithful to us. Before we cross over into 2023, we just want to pause for a moment to give him praise for all the things that he has done in our lives. We are here tonight to give God praise for bringing us safely through another year. Marvin Wine and sing a song along with the brothers. Millions didn't make it. But I was one of the ones who. Trying to stay in check. We, we're in the 12 hour prayer and consecration that the Lord delivered. And Sister Laura and Johnson came back church and we still have a, a shout over and I've been in a 12 hour consecration and fasting and praying and I got a spirit 
of rejoicing about trying to keep myself in check. Psalms 30 and 11, for thou hast turned my mourning to dancing. We're lifting our text from that. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. If you allow me, Crystal, to use this start of the night, just turn it around for me. We're going to. Taking it personal, I'm the custis, I'm the tally, the frame and the pioneers that the Lord has turned it around. For you, you can put your name in that place. Many people have shared their testimony how the Lord had turned their medical diagnosis from positive to negative. In this year of 2020, Two, they have been battling certain medical conditions for years, but the symptoms are no longer. <laughs> no longer there. They did the lab work and they did numerous tests. But it's no longer there. He turned it around for He did it for me. The Amplified Version of the Bible read from the same passage of Scripture, I extol thee, you, O Lord. You have lifted me up. You have not let my foes rejoice over me. And when you're going through your trials and your tribulations, they said, look at Hughes. He looked bad. He looked crazy. But God didn't allow that to be so. Didn't let my enemies rejoice over me. God is great. He's greatly to be praised. So in these next few moments before we cross over, I want you to look back, see what the Lord has brought you. See how he has covered you with eagles. Yes. Eagle's wings. And, and David said, Oh Lord, my God, yeah. cry to you, and you have healed me. And David had been through many physical afflictions in his life. Testified it was you, God, that healed me. You, oh Lord, have made my life from Shiloh, from a place where I was at a point of death. You have kept me alive. And that you should not go down in the pit to the grave. You did it, Lord. <laughs> Spared my life. When the doctor said this or that, you turn it around on my behalf. The song said he's turning it around. He missionary corner said he turned it around. For me, sing unto the Lord, oh ye saints of his. And give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name was anger is but for a moment his favor is for a lifetime did y'all catch that his anger is just for a moment but his favor is for a lifetime his favor is for life weeping may endure for a night but Can somebody shout joy? joy. joy. Cometh in the morning. David understood that he was anointed as a king at the age as he was a teenager, but he spent many years running from King Saul, but through those years were not wasted. Yeah. Hard as it were, it was during those years that David penned many psalms and conformed millions of 
people and let them know that there is nobody like my God. The Apostle Paul heard the prison door slam behind him for many years. And in his jail, so he preached the gospel of Jesus Christ. Those years may have seemed to be wasted, but yet, during his imprisonment, he wrote many letters, many epistles, and carried the saints that there's nobody like my God. Can't nobody do you like Jesus? Trying to hold it together. God allows pain and struggle to enter to our lives to refine us like gold. Jesus was God in the flesh, yet he suffered terribly while on earth so that we would know him, that we may have an intimate and a personal relation with him. He understands our pains as bad as it may be for the moment. But joy was set in, for he endured the cross, scourging the shame, sat down at the right hand of the throne of God, we're told to consider that he who endured such opposition for sinners so that we would not go weary and lose heart. So Jesus modeled for us what it means to come to joy in the morning. Tell your neighbor he did it just for me. He's turning around for me. God help us always to see the struggles. God help us to always see the struggles. God always help us to see the struggles. And the sorrows of this world are only temporal. We praise him for the reality. We praise him for the day will come when there will be no more. Sin. No more sorrows. No more heartaches. No more disappointments. Every day will be Sunday. Sabbath. We have no end. Hallelujah. Weeping. They endure for a night. But morning always follows night. The weeping may believe, as believers, we are confident that he's a keeper. If we keep our mind stayed on him, he will keep our minds in. He brings joy to our hearts. Weeping means to grieve. It means to lament. It means shedding tears. Weeping means to cry silently without any noise at times. And then there's a time I used to look at Ella Watson and he'd be boohooing and just crying because of the trials and tribulations that has overcome us. But I want to let you know in the midst of your sorrow, I am an overcomer yeah. through Christ that lives in me. Instead of hopelessness, yeah. we have his promise that we can make things work together for those who love God. We know that all things work together. Yeah. For good of them that love the Lord and to them who are the call according to his. Likewise, the spirit help us in our friends that we don't know what we should pray for as we are. But the spirit itself make it intercessor for us with groaning which cannot be uttered. What are you trying to say, Hugh? Sometimes we're so heavily burdened. 
And we don't know how to pray. But God's spirit will connect with our spirit. He'll hear your faintest cry. Turn it around. For me. Only God can take the very bad and transform us into something very good. Even though we walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil. Yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with. That rod and thy staff, they cover me. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord for. And when we're going through our trials and the tribulation, the advantage of the Patricia old saying that when you're going through your heartache, through your difficulties, you must know who's following you. Who is following you? God's goodness and his mercy going to be with you all of your life as long as you're here on the earth. If you know the Lord is blessing you, mother cousin, what you got to worry about? If you know that he's keeping you, why don't you sing and shout glory, hallelujah, every day won't be the same if you know. Yes. What you got to worry about? The good shepherd never, he'll never, he'll never abandon us. Or suffer us in a way purposely. Thank you, Jesus. Psalms 56 and 8 through 9. Tell us thou my wanderings. Put us thou my tears into a bottle. And there are they not in the book. Catch this, when I cry unto thee, that my enemies turn back. Can I read that again? David said, when I cry unto the Lord, when I make my petition before God, because of my enemies, they'll turn back. If you resist the devil, he will do what? He'll flee from you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I stopped by here today to let you know that in your brokenness, God can heal you, God can deliver you, and he can set you free. Thank you, Jesus. Joy comes in the morning when we are waking for a specific person. Mistakes and sorrows and confusions may clutter our minds. But it's only temporary. I stopped by here today to tell you that God will lift you up in the midst of your sorrows. We sing a song every now and again. There's not a friend. No, I'm in Florida like the lonely Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all of your sorrows. He will guide you till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. David said about the garments that he was wearing. The garments were made for mourning. Garments of sackcloth and ashes symbolize that you're mourning for the loss of a loved one. You're mourning because you're going through great trials and tribulation. But I stop by here to tell you today that weeping may endure for a night. Hold on. Just a little while longer. God sees and he knows what you're going through. Told me to tell you tonight. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And don't let go. Woo. Don't let 
go of his hands. So on tonight, we are taking the inventory of our lives, seeing where the Lord has brought us from. From January 1, Mother Tuesday on today, God has been good. He has been faithful. He's a friend at midnight. Bridge over troubled water. Shelter in a storm. When we don't know what to do, we lift up our hands. Call on the name of Jesus. From January 1 to the day, God has been good to me. God has been faithful. And he's worthy. Mother McGee, he's worthy. Mother McGee, he's worthy. He's worthy. Worthy to be praised. So David, it's quiet time. Pick up an ink block and his papyrus and begin to write down these words. Yeah. What shall I run out to the Lord yeah. for all his benefits yeah. towards me? Yeah. He went on to say, oh, that men would praise the Lord yeah. for his goodness, for the wonder works yeah. of the children of men. Yeah. Jeremiah wrote these words. Yeah. Lamentation chapter 3, yeah. verses 21 yeah. through 23. Rose, he said, this I recall to my mind. Therefore, have I hope. It is the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Because in compassion, fail it not. They are new every morning. Great is our faithfulness. How many of you are serving a faithful God? Has he been faithful to you? Brother Wolf, in spite of it all, I'm asking you the question today. Has God been faithful to you? We've been going through great trials and tribulation, but God is faithful. Every now and again, yeah. we can call on our family and friends and loved ones. They can grab to do a favor for us. Yeah. But sometimes they're not able to do it. Yeah. But God, yeah. he'll never let you down. Yeah. He'll never disappoint you. Yeah. He'll never give up on you. Yeah. He'll never throw the towel on you. God is faithful. And if you're faithful to God, he has some friends' benefits for you. If you're faithful to God, he'll protect you. If you're faithful to God, he promised to give you everlasting life. If you're faithful to God, he'll bless you. He'll strengthen you. He'll comfort you. He'll provide for you. Hallelujah. Let's turn it around. For me. So see those who are here, Sister Moore. I'm the sound of my voice to you. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what the Lord has in store for you. So before you walk out of this place, more, 
want you to take an inventory of your life. See what the Lord has done for you. Used to say, every time I think, my hands go up. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that is done for me. He's turning around for me. Jesus is the wings beneath my wing. He's the treasure that I seek. The song in my heart, the objective, my design, the breath of my life. He's my all in all. He's my foundation of faith. My pathway of peace. The gateway to glory. The highways of happiness. Jesus is my every. He's my everything. Late Mother Dorothy Willis used to sing this song since I met Jesus. There's a deep burning within. His yoke is easy. Burdens are light. If I can just walk where he leads me, I always be right. She used to sing, cherish this race. Cherish this race. Walk in this race. And by his grace, I'll make it home someday. So those who hear the sound of my voice, for the Lauren Johnson family, the Moore family, all of our guests in Missouri, Mike. Lord told me to tell you he's turning around for you. As a matter of fact, if we think about Crystal, what the things that the Lord has done for me, we use it as a cliche, but it's a reality every time I turn around. The good Lord, Mother Tally keeps on blessing me. Those of you here on the sound of my voice on today, and before we cross over the year of 2023, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior on today, I'd like to extend this opportunity to you that he will never leave you, nor will he forsake you. He promised to always be by your side. And I accepted the Lord Jesus in the year of September 1983. Been running for Jesus a long time. Not tired yet, but these pioneers have been here over 50 years. They're a living witness. If God would keep you, if you want to be kept. Any man that's in Christ Jesus is a new creature. Behold, all things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He said, follow peace with all men and holiness. Without no man shall see the Lord. Extend it's opportunity to you today to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. The altar is open to you as we pray for you and to those who at one point had a relationship with the Lord and somehow uh, circumstances or situations have 
come about in your life and that you have gone astray from the Lord. And I'll put this in a popular term of Bishop Tommy. You say sometimes we miss the mark. We have gone astray. We may have backslide, but the altar is open to you. And the Lord said he loves the backsliders and he loves all of us. And he long suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish. The altar is open to you. And we'll say this and we're going to pray that on this year 2022 gave seven eulogies, seven home-born services. If an angel would call you into judgment right now, will you be ready to answer the call? The Bible said the heavens shall melt with a great and fervent heat. The elements in the work, never shall be burned up. What manner of person ought you to be in all godliness and holy conversation? Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, again, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your tender mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for allowing us, amen, to cross over into a new year. And for that, we're telling you, thank you, God. Thank you for allowing us to see another year, oh God. We thank you, God, for your grace, God. Thank you for your mercy, God. Thank you for another year, God. Thank you, Lord. 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 This is the day that the Lord has made. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Glory. Come on, let's give him a praise. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give the Lord a praise. Come on, give him a praise. If it had not been for the Lord, if it had not been for God, what would it be on today? If it had not been for God, if it had not been for Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Praying it is over. Thank you, Jesus. How? Hallelujah. 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 Hey! Glory. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Oh. Thank you for bringing us over. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey! hey! Oh, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's made a way for us. It's difficult at times, missionary burden. But the God in our serve promise that it never leave you. Promise that it never forsake you. Promise that you always. Be by your son. You have to tell him thank you. You have to tell him thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You have thank to tell him thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You have to tell him thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Hey. Thank you, Lord. Oh. Thank you. Oh, Hallelujah. thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He kept me, missionary burden. He kept me. He kept me. He kept my mind stayed on him. God is a keeper. God is a deliverer. God, I make a way for you. Yeah, yeah, Somebody yeah, to yeah. shout glory. Thank you. Glory. Somebody to shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. God did it. God did it. God did it. 
Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. David said, oh, Lord. How excellent, How excellent is thy name. When I consider the heaven and the stars and the moon, what is man that thou art mindful of him? David said the Lord is sweeter than a honey in a honeycomb. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh. Every time I turn around. The Lord keeps making a way for me. Woo! Hey! Woo! Hey! Woo! Mm-hmm. Isaiah said. Has thou not known? Has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creators of the ends of the earth, yes, Lord, faintest not, neither is weary. Nothing confused God, or nothing throw him off course. He gave it power to the faint, to them that has no might. He increases strength. Yes, Lord. The youth shall faint, and all that be strong. But they that wait upon the Lord, some of the burdens of the trial that we had in 2023, 20, we're carrying, 22, we're carrying them over to the day. My but Lord. they that wait upon the Lord, Mother Yelton, shall, shall renew, renew their strength. Yes, Lord. We're going to mount up with wings as eagle. We're going to run and not be ready. We're going to walk, and we're not. On the final today, as we pray for Brother Norman Flora on today. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, hey, oh, hallelujah, yes, Lord, hallelujah, oh, glory to God, hallelujah, oh, my, 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 ha, glory, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, Thank you, Jesus. Oh! Hallelujah. I get joy when I think about. I get joy when I think about. Hey, you don't know like I know. What is done for me? Don't know like I know. Oh, what is done for me? I get joy when I think about. What is done for me? Always for over. Why 
Come on, help her to praise him. Come on, help her to praise him. Come on, help her to praise him. If you give her the microphone, she will tell you that the doctor said that she had it. And they searched for it. And it's no longer there. Somebody to show glory. I feel a praise in this place. Oh. Well, Hallelujah. if we were to pass the microphone to Missionary Rhonda Gregory, she would tell you that the doctors search for it through the lab work, and the report was part one part was positive. But it's negative and they can no longer find it. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. And while we're passing the microphone around, Mr. Beverly Corner will tell you he's a mender of broken heart. She's been through many trials and tribulations in 2022. But if it had not been for God, yeah. if it had not been for God, Beverly would be here today. She would have lost. Her mind, but if it had not been for Jesus. Oh. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give him a praise. Come on, let's give him a praise. Oh. Thank you. It's midnight. Woo! It's morning time. Come on, get your deliverance. It's morning time. It's time to rejoice.
Some more angels in a few moments. My missionary Burton, the prayer warriors, we've been praying for Mother Louise Felton. Mother Louise Felton is here. So, can somebody from the Gregory family give God the praise for Mother Louise Felton? Brother Gary Felton and the family here on tonight. Somebody to shout, Glory to God! Glory to God! We are yet praying for Mother Alice Fennel and the Lord is blessing her. The Lord is keeping her. The prayers of the righteous are fairly much. Can somebody give a praise for Mother Alice? The presence of the Lord is in this place. Yeah. Mother Rose, when you think of the goodness of Jesus. Yeah. No, it's after 12, they wonder when we're going to leave, but the song said, well, since I have no place to go, let the praise, let the praise, let it pray. Hallelujah. Yeah. We prepare the to receive our anointed oil. The, Lord. the Elder Donnie Gregor this was not able to make it on tonight. We have one of our national adjutants, the, the person of, of Minister Rashawn Kennedy. Of the Lord. It's coming at this time this to present a blessed oil. Place. Amen. I stand before you tonight for the presentation of a sacred anointing oil. Exodus 30, verses 22 through 33, speaks of the five ingredients that go into the anointing oil. Let the power 500 shekels of myrrh, 250 shekels of cinnamon, 250 shekels of sweet calamus, 500 shekels of cassia, and a hen of olive oil. The oil is sacred. It should be used for healing, consecration, anointing, special anointings. When you put on your anointing oil, you should do it with the right hand of power in a cross. Anoint your homes. Anoint your children. Husbands. Wives. Anoint. Usually you can only get this if you go to the National Convocation, the Holy Convocation. But our elder Donnie Gregory, who serves as a servant leader for the Adjutant General Bishop Dickerson L.S. Wells, 
was able to get us some anointing oil. And tonight we have it here. And we're going to present it now. It's already been blessed at the Holy Convocation. So whatever you're going through, you have power. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Power. Holy Ghost power. Yes, Lord. Holy Ghost power. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. On me. I can't push it quite like the Elder Donna Gregory, but there's a special service that they have, and they, they go in and they make this anointing oil, and it's so much power. So tonight, we present this oil. And as our pastor is instructed, we would like for our visitors to come first, and then we will continue to pass it out. Amen. Anointing fall on me. Anointing fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Glory to God. The minister the needs of his mother, God. Touch his family, oh God. That's why faithful this is Jesus. Glory to God. Yes, yes, yes. Let yes. the power in the name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost. Amen. Has everyone received all? Everyone, please come at this time. Everyone. In the 
the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And it is so. Glory to God. Glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anointing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Has everyone received the oil? Amen. As we prepare our hearts and our minds to receive the Lord's Supper. Jesus said, as often as you do it, amen, you do it in remembrance of me. Missionary Ortiz is coming at this time as we prepare our hearts and mind to receive the Lord's Supper. Amen. I'll be reading 1 Corinthians chapter 11, beginning at verse 23 through 30. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he brake it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner, also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. Amen. As we prepare to receive this memorial meal, we ask you that you examine yourself and see whether you're worthy to receive the Lord's sacraments. As he died on the cross for the sins of the world, the Lord Roger Rose is going to pray over our sacraments at this time. We thank you. We give you glory. Now, God, as we offer up these sacrifices to you, God, lest we never forget the sacrifice that was made for us. Now, God, let us eat and let us drink worthily. Oh, God, that it may that we may remember all that has been done for us. Oh, God, that we may live, oh, God, the life that is pleasing unto you. Now, as we celebrate and commemorate, God, we offer up these sacraments to you. In your precious Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Bite of the Lord.
Jesus said, this is my body, which was broken for you. Shall we eat? Apart from the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. We walk in the light as he's in the light. We have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus shall make us whole. Shall we drink? as you do this you do it in remembrance of me gentlemen you may now go and serve the congregants Shall we all stand? Yes. 
After the benediction, if you would exit at the rear of the church to shake our pastor's hand, would you all stand at this time? Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and forever. Amen.